Welcome to Marvel Rivals. The new 3.0 update for the Rivals Reconstructed Mod Manager is finally out, and this is going to make your Season 1 modding easier than ever. This is an easy mod manager that is user friendly, and it's jam packed with different tools to streamline the modding process. So whether you're a modding expert or just starting to mod for the first time, this mod manager has a little bit of something for everybody. The latest 3.0 update for Rivals Reconstructed has a list of new features, including the ability to create mod presets, manual and auto directory search so you can find your game folder easily, and then minimized file sizes so it won't take up as much space on your PC. You're able to enable and disable mods with just a click of a few buttons so that you don't have to manually do it yourself and this works for both Epic Games as well as Steam. So I'll be showing you how to do it for both game launchers. With that being said, this is an easy guide for Rivals Reconstructed Mod Manager. So let's get started. We'll first head over to the Nexus Mods website, so make sure you set up a free account first. And then from here, we're going to go into the Files tab, and we'll be pressing this manual download for the Rivals Reconstructed 3.0. Once your download is complete, you want to head over to your Downloads folder, and the Mod Manager you just downloaded should be in a zipped format. If it's not, I'll leave a guide down below, which will teach you the ins and outs on how to extract zip files. From here, we're going to extract this mod manager. So we'll extract these files, choose the location, and now you should have a new folder called Rivals Reconstructed. If we click inside of this, we'll need to go into the next folder as well, and then we need to launch the Rivals Reconstructed.exe. You may see a Windows protected your PC, but all you need to do is click more info and then run anyway. Once you do that, the mod manager will pop up. And then from here, we're gonna go down to create mods folder. Once you click on this, you'll see a prompt saying that mods folder has been created successfully. Now, for some reason, you need to manually find this folder. I'll go ahead and show you on both Epic and Steam. So on Epic, if you go into your library and then under Marvel Rivals, click on these three dots. You then want to go to manage. Next to installation, you'll see this folder icon. You just need to press that. For Steam, you need to find Marvel Rivals, right click, go down to manage, and then browse local files. Now, once you're in your game folder for either Epic or Steam, you then need to go into Marvel Game, into Marvel, Content, and then into your PAX folder. So if you need to manually find your address, you'll just be using this address right here. And if you just wanted to do double check that the mod manager put the mods folder in the right place, you'll be able to see it right here. Now we can start adding some mods though. So we'll browse Nexus Mods to find a mod we want. In this case, we'll go for the 90s Invisible Woman. So we'll head to the Files tab, go down to Manual Download, and then again, we'll need to extract our mod. And then in our new folder, we'll take this .pack file and drag this directly inside of the Mod Manager. You should now see the file inside of the Mod Manager. So all you need to do now is execute the mod. You should see a pop-up saying mods installed successfully. And then once you press OK, if you click on this Manage Mods tab, you'll see that your new mod is now enabled. So we'll go ahead and launch Marvel Rivals to double check. And then once your Marvel Rivals loads up, we can go ahead and double check our mod is installed correctly. So we have the 90s Invisible Woman looking, ayo. It is working perfectly. We'll go ahead and check the practice range as well, because sometimes the models work in lobby, but when you try to actually select them in the match, sometimes it just crashes the game. But it looks like this mod is working fine and dandy. It's going to be the same thing for sound mods as well. So we'll go ahead and try out this Captain America, a cup of Liberty ultimate. So we'll go ahead and download the mod. We'll again extract the zip file. And then in our new folder, we'll take this pack file and drag it inside of the mod manager. We'll hit that execute button. We'll get the success prompt. And then when we check the manage mods, we'll see that it's enabled. Now you'll see that the default mod, a cup of Liberty, just has an underscore P dot pack. But when we look inside of the mod manager, you'll see that there's been an underscore with a bunch of nines added. There's no need to worry about that. That's just the newest way of modding. Because if we go back to our packs folder where our mods are installed, with the latest couple of updates, there's been three patch files that have been added. All three of these contain the underscore dot P, which is basically giving these priority over other files. The old way was to delete that underscore P, and then whenever you added mods in the mods folder, your mods would work. But the problem was when the game updated again, the game would then add a duplicate patch windows file because we removed the underscore P on the last one. So basically you would just have a bunch of duplicate files and when you have that, your game's just gonna crash. So the mod manager automatically adds these 999s with the underscore P on it so that the mods are prioritized as well. So when you see mods like this, where it has the name with the underscore 999, you know it's the latest update for this season. So there's no need to worry about repack 
which we'll get into in a few. First, we'll test out the sound mod. So when we use Capitano Americano's ultimate, you'll see that the Hellbavers 2 theme plays, so it's installed correctly. Now some older mods haven't been updated for the newest season, so if you're trying to get one of your favorite ones to work, you're going to need a tool called Repack Rivals. This is the one that is uploaded by Natty Mary, the creator of Repack Unpacker. So with the latest version of 2.0, this allows you to convert a majority of the older mods into something you can use for the new season. So I'll be showing you how to use this mod real quick. So once you have the repack extracted inside of the folder, you should see the unpack mod.bat as well as the repack mod.bat. If we head over to Nexus Mods and you click on this updated tab, if you see a recent last update date like this, you do not need to repack your mod because if you do this, you're just gonna break it and your game is likely gonna crash. And again, most of those new mods, they have that underscore 999 after the name, so you know you're good. Now, if we take a mod like this, for example, Six Storm, the last update was 12 Jan 2025. So if you try to install this mod just like it is, it's not going to work. So we'll go ahead and download this. We'll go ahead and extract this file. And you'll see these ones are not pack files. These are actually loose assets. So we'll go ahead and take the Thick Storm No Cape Lobby and in game, we'll copy these files. And then inside of the repack folder, we'll go ahead and paste these files inside. Now, since these are already folders and not dot pack files, we're just gonna drag this entire folder over the repack mod.bat. You might see the Windows protected screen, just hit more info and then run anyway. And then afterwards, you should see a new pack file, so Thick Storm, and the repack will automatically add that 999 after it as well. So back in Rivals Reconstructed, again, click Install Mods. We'll drag that new pack file inside of that mod manager and then hit that Execute button. You no longer need this pack file or the folder, so we'll go ahead and delete that. But then we'll take the Thick Storm Note Cake in-game version and drag it over the repack mod.bat. We'll press any key to continue. And then we'll take our new pack file inside of the mod manager. Click Execute Mods. And then under Manage Mods, we have our Storm Mods installed. Now inside that repack folder, you don't need these two files anymore. So you can go ahead and get rid of those just to keep this space nice and clean. We'll go ahead and launch the game again. And then when we check out Storm, we'll see that she is now thick and has no cape. Now just be aware the repack method doesn't work for every single older mod. So if you repack the file correctly and then you test it out in game and it doesn't work, it's probably because the mod author did something weird with the mod and the repack is unable to reformat it. So just move on and find another mod that works. Now, if you happen to find an older mod that's in a .pack file you want to convert, you first need to drag that pack file onto the unpack mod.bat. And then once you do that, you'll have a new folder. And then with that folder, you're going to drag it onto the repack mod.bat. You can then get rid of that old folder and then drag that new mod into the mod manager, execute, and then now you have it successfully installed. And if that mod is compatible to be repacked, you should see it working in game just like this one. Hey, yo. But again, just keep in mind, it doesn't work for every single mod. Now that you have a few mods installed, you may notice that the scroll is a little bit bugged, so you won't be able to access some of these lower mods. Don't worry though, there will be an update to fix this issue soon. So if you want to keep up to date with the Rivals Reconstructed Mod Manager, you can join their Discord with this button here. You can look on the actual mod page to see if there's a new version available. And then there's also a link to that repack tool that we just used. For now though, to get over that scrolling issue, you can create a preset. So if you go into manage presets, you can have a custom named preset. And then if you head over to edit mods, you'll have a streamlined menu where you can enable all the mods you want for this specific preset. So once you've chosen your mods, you can hit save changes and then load preset. So when you're on that manage mods page, you'll see that you have some new mods enabled. And then back on the preset page, you should see that your current loaded preset is the one you just loaded. And you're able to make a bunch of different presets as well. And in each of those presets, you can have different mods enabled, which makes it easy to switch between dozens of mods in basically an instant. Hopefully now you're able to use Rivals Reconstructed Mod Manager with ease. This certainly makes modding a breeze with the added presets. And all of those different tools added is just the cherry on top. If you want to see more modding guides like this, or even stay up to date on the latest mod managers, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Until next time though, we'll see ya.